Hi, my name is Paige. Welcome to my channel. So about three weeks ago, I decided I wanted to do an Instagram Picks My Life and I never filmed an intro. So editing me right now has to film one for you. So <laughs> there was a random Monday, like I said, three weeks ago that I just really wanted to not make any decisions. I was not looking forward to the week and I posted a couple of polls on Instagram about what I should do that following Monday. And I wanted it to be a little bit reading vlog style. So there is some reading content in this and if you are interested in what Instagram picked for me for the day, keep on watching. All right, it's the night before and the Instagram polls have gone up. It's not looking like a ton of people are responding yet, but so far people are wanting me to wake up early so that I can do my hair and get ready. <laughs> and it's Monday, so that's gonna be rough, but I'm definitely gonna check it before I go to bed, which will be in a couple of hours or so, and I will see what I have to do. And I'm gonna look so tired when I update you next about what's happening in the morning. I might already regret this, <laughs> but I will see you in the morning. Oof, okay. It is Sunday. I'm awake, barely. I think I slept like absolute garbage, but I checked this morning because I kind of was waking up on and off every couple of hours this morning so i checked and it was very much 50 50 for if i should wake up early and get ready or sleep in because it's monday so i decided to instead of hitting snooze four times like i usually do i only hit it twice and i think i'm going to attempt to get my hair done but i'm not gonna put on makeup because i just i can't be bothered i cannot be bothered it's so early but I do need to be quick because I apparently am getting coffee this morning and I don't know how long that line is because I never get coffee from anywhere other than my kitchen. So I'm gonna go fix my wild hair and then I'm gonna go get coffee. Okay, we are ready for the day. I am in my favorite skirt ever. And I'm going to go get coffee, and I'm hopefully I'm not going to be late. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Thank you. Yeah, have an amazing day. You too. Oh, that's strong. Oh, okay. I need to drive. The lighting is terrible, but I am in my parking garage, and I don't think I can really bring you along into my work because I do work at a law firm, and I just think that that would be a no-no. So I am going to try and update Instagram with a couple of things today to choose from, but it's probably gonna be more like after work stuff that I can actually vlog because I just can't vlog while I'm at work. So that's why I didn't have anybody pick like what I'm gonna eat for lunch or anything just cause I know I can't take my camera out while I'm there. So I will see you at the end of the day with what you decide for me to do after I get home from work. All right, I am done with work and I completed a book today. I will talk about that when I get home, but I did read an audiobook for historical romance and it was so cute, so that's a spoiler for that. But I did ask what I should do when I get home today and I really thought more people would want me to go to a bookstore, but one more person voted that I should play Sims, which thank you because I don't have the money to go to a bookstore right now. So I'm going to go home and I'm going to play the Sims. And I am now going to ask though, if I should make my June TBR be the Sims 4 picks my TBR for the month. I have an idea that I've been wanting to do. So if you guys think that that is a good idea, I'm gonna make that. Maybe today I need to figure out how to record the Sims, but I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna drive in traffic and it's gonna be terrible but I will see you when I'm home. All right, we are home. Thank goodness. Today was the very Mondayest Monday ever. The coffee that I got was not that great. I usually get something else, which is more like a blended drink. And I was like, no, I'll go for an iced coffee today. And it kind of tasted like onions, which is not a good taste. So wasn't a fan of that, but I did drink it all because I did spend money on it. So, you know that's that but throughout the entire day i did end up reading a historical romance which i already said but it was between warbreaker by brandon sanderson and 
two rogues make a right by Cat Sebastian and more people picked this one which I was surprised by but I'm very thankful because I have been reading a lot of big books recently and it's been taking me like two or three days to get through the audiobooks while I'm at work because I can usually get through about five hours of an audiobook and then I have like meetings and just helping other people on my team out so today i was able to finish all of this in one sitting which is such a nice feeling and let me tell you this book is so cute so this is kind of in i think it's the series is called seducing the sedwicks sedwigs sedwicks and i believe this is book three i read book one and i thought it was cute i thought it was fine and i didn't really want to read book two because i wasn't exactly interested in the characters that were in this but this one I really enjoyed it. I don't think it's a five star. Like at the beginning, I really thought it would be because it has like every trope that I love, which is childhood, best friends to lovers, lots of pining, a lot of like self deprecating thoughts. And each of the guys thinks that they're not worthy of the other one. And I love that, especially in fan fiction. So it was going really strong, but it just kind of like cycled through a lot of like they were happy and then one person would doubt it and then they were back to being okay again and then another person would throw a wrench in it and then they'd be fine so it was like a lot of cycling of that sort of thing but overall it was adorable they're precious and it like made me tear up a lot of the time because one of them is like chronically ill he seems to have just like ill health in general and then he got tuberculosis is that what the consumption was and so he wasn't doing well and there was like talk about how their lives probably wouldn't be as long and fulfilling together as other couples could be and that was just like an emotional touch to it that i really did like but overall i just thought they were so precious together and i am just a sucker for childhood friends to lovers it just it gets me every single time so if you have any recommendations for childhood friends to lovers in any setting that'd be great i would love that so much but I think I'm gonna eat dinner now. I am not having anybody to decide on that because my grandpa's been cooking and I'm not gonna go out and like order food when he cooked. So I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna start playing The Sims. I asked if I should make a Sims 4 picks my TBR and so far I believe more people are saying yes. So I have four votes for yes and zero votes for no. So I'm not sure people just don't wanna vote no or what. So I'm probably going to attempt to try and make that. If not, I'm just going to play The Sims because I don't really know how to record my screen on The Sims quite yet. But I have Serena who could probably help me. So anyway, that's a very long-winded way of saying I will tell you what I'm doing when I get back. I am getting so sleepy. Okay, so I've basically just been building a house in The Sims and it's not turning out to be that cute. But... I am just trying to basically make a house that my sim will be able to go and survive in and she will only be allowed to read. I have a little bit of a house which I can show you again. It's not the cutest but I'm not going to screen record because I haven't figured that out yet and I'll just like quickly show you what it looks like. So right now it's just like boring and white and not very cute but it just has a little kitchen area so that I can eat or my sim can eat and then a downstairs library, a bathroom so that that can happen and then a place to sleep and maybe read upstairs. I want to add more plants and stuff. I just have plants kind of scattered everywhere right now just because I pulled them out of the build and buy mode. I am getting very sleepy though so I did ask if I should read a tj klune book which i need to work on reading wolf song i've been working on that book for like six months it's a reread but i know what's gonna happen so i'm like not wanting to push myself because i don't want to cry or my other option tonight is to read fan fiction which i'm kind of hoping people lean towards because i just i like, really want to read fan fiction right now so i will let you know what is decided and then we will wrap this video up because i am probably gonna go to bed early tonight it looks like I'm going to be reading a TJ Klum book. I don't know if my eyes can process reading anything, but we're going to attempt it. And 
I might go to bed very, very soon. So I'm going to attempt to read at least one chapter and then we are going to decide from there how I'm feeling. Let's read this. I'm also annotating as I'm reading. Also, I clip my bangs back every night when I sleep because they get extra greasy if I don't. So I'm going to look a little silly right now, but it is what it is. We are going to get started. Oh, I'm so tired, you guys. All right, let's see how long this lasts. I think it is officially time to end this video. So thank you to everybody who was participating and voting on the things that I should be doing. I actually had a really fun day despite being exhausted. So I feel like this is something that I can do in the future, but with more options and <laughs> a little bit more book content but I'm definitely trying to dip my toes back into filming stuff. I did film a video last month but I just couldn't be bothered to edit because iMovie is just it's battling me right now but anyway we can get more into that in other future reading vlogs which I'm hoping to start doing because I have been reading a lot lately and I want to talk about the books that I'm reading and I feel like reading vlogs would be the way to do that but Anyway, I need to just go. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to bed now. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave me a star emoji. I don't know. I can't think of anything. All right. That's all that I have. I will see you in my next video. All right. Good night.